Well, I've gone and made myself a dry cell, just from bits and pieces I'd laying around. It's absolutely terrible. The MMW is about 3.3, so a very inefficient cell. It only has five plates in it, very thin or thin. I only have a one mil spacing between the plates, um, and the plates themselves are actually a big stainless steel can, so it was round. I flattened them out. They've got a dent through them, so the spacing is going to be all over the place. Um, but it produces hydrogen, and I'm just going to hook it up to the generator and give it a shot and see what happens. The switch here is to connect the battery to the starter side of the generator. I will switch that off once the generator is going, disconnect the battery so we know there's no power coming from that. The switch here is to fire up the cell. So our first run, we're going to use um, without the cell, nothing hooked up, just a free run, motor free running. We're going to time um, how long it takes to use the fuel from the top ring down to the bottom ring. We'll then fuel it back up and we will switch over to the hydrogen cell and we'll time it again. The one thing I have done with the generator is I've disconnected both of the condensers and it seems to run better and I have absolutely no arcing at the brushes whatsoever now. So really not sure what they're for. May have been just to smooth it out a little bit so I might be getting even more high voltage pulses and that going through the cell than I had before. Now SD wanted to have a look in the little magic box. He must have missed the first video. So here we just have a 5 ohm wire wound pot that is to increase and decrease the amperage coming from the generator. Uh, we have a big heavy wound inductor, just a single wire that goes through to the second inductor which also acts as a magnetic switch. And once the generator fires up, we just pulls in and connects the circuit to the charge. This stops any power going back the wrong way when you push the button to start it and of course just our amp meter on top. Uh, I have the bubbler here in the tube. It's just going up into this manifold I made before the carby and at the moment it is clamped off so we can be sucking no air into the system. Down here we have a meter that is measuring the voltage across our cell. 335 millivolts at the moment and you will see during the first test that that will not move. So we will start her up, we'll get our timer ready, of course it's the trusty old phone and we're going to time from this mark down to the bottom mark, free running and see how it goes. I will then go straight ahead, fuel it back up while it's running a bit higher, switch over to HHO so it's got time to build up and start flowing and we will time again from there to there. If we turn the motor on first.
well there you go um, like I said absolutely terrible sell about 3.3 on the MMW and as you can clearly see it definitely ran a whole lot longer than um, they did without the hold as well not a whole lot longer another 20 seconds maybe, maybe. but um, if we had a more efficient cell maybe up near 6 near MW there is absolutely no doubt that it would increase the um, efficiency of the motor even more than what that already did cheers from the tin man